This video demonstrates how the wireless auto switch can be paired with the base unit. First, switch the base to pairing mode. Install the NFC reader and writer to the base with the mounting bracket. Check that the blue LED comes on, indicating that communication is possible. Turn the base power on. Switch to administrator mode on the I.O. configurator downloaded to your PC. A password is required when switching to administrator mode. The default password is admin. This can be set to a password of your choice. Select pairing mode in the pairing box on the right side of the screen, then click on reset. This switches the base to pairing mode. The W-NS LED flashes alternately green and red. Next, switch the wireless auto switch to pairing mode. Supply power to the transmitter. 10 seconds after the power LED comes on to indicate the power is on, the W-PS LED comes on to indicate the power transmission status. Place the wireless auto switch close to the power transmitter. Placing it on top of the power transmitter will make mode switching and mode state more stable. Press and hold the function button on the wireless auto switch. Once the green and red LEDs come on simultaneously, short press the function button again. The wireless auto switch is initially in pairing mode when delivered, so this step is not required the first time it is used. There is a product identification number printed on the wireless auto switch. When you click on refresh, wireless auto switches in pairing mode are shown under free remotes. The PID is displayed to identify individual auto switches. The first auto switch is registered to channel 1. Select free remotes, click on the upward pointing triangle, then click on save registration information to change the registration status to registered. Once it is registered, the LED on the wireless auto switch turns off and it automatically returns from pairing mode to normal mode. The second auto switch is paired in the same way. Press and hold the function button, then short press the function button, in the same way as the first auto switch. The next auto switch is registered to channel 2. The registration status changes to registered, the LED on the wireless auto switch turns off, and it automatically returns to normal mode. Select normal mode in the pairing box on the right side of the screen, then click on reset, and then refresh. When the green W-NS LED comes on, pairing of the two wireless auto switches is complete. Here are some examples of pairing failure and what action should be taken. If registration fails, Check the LED on the wireless auto switch. If the LED is on, click on save registration information. If the LED is not on, switch the auto switch to pairing mode again, then click on save registration information. If the LED is on, click on save registration information. If registration fails again, Click on Save Registration Information again. When pairing is established, the registration status changes to Registered, and the LED on the wireless auto switch turns off. If the LED on the wireless auto switch is not on, press the function button to switch to pairing mode again. Click on Save Registration Information. When pairing is established, the registration status changes to registered, and the LED on the wireless auto switch turns off.